What's up, man? Back again, huh? Good to see What's you, up, man? Good to see, good to see you, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're back, man. I'm back. You're back, looking good, man. What's up, man? You fresh haircut? What's up, man? You're looking like a fresh man right now. For real? Looking like a fresh man. You're gonna hear that. Yeah, you're looking fresh, man. It's gonna be back. Looking alive. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's some ups and downs, but yeah. overall the trip was pretty good. Well, Huh? Oh yeah, let me do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back once again at the aquaponics paradise. Getting ready to install the stand pipe in here and then getting ready to test these tanks and check to see if we have any leaks and make sure everything is nice and good the way it's supposed to be. So we're gonna start with this tank first. You guys remember it had a slight leak here and it had a slight leak coming out of this uh, bolt and this bolt and one other bolt over there. So then we went through took them out put the extra silicone on there and Woo, we're gonna see if this thing is working. So Carlos you gonna go ahead and turn it on right, turn, turn it on the on. um Turn on the water from the well And then we'll get it. We'll get it going Woo, there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the tanks are filled up so you can see that this tank here, this one's fine. It's finally fixed. We don't have any leaks on this one. Um, it's time for us to move to the next tank. So I'm super pumped up, man. Now let's go ahead and move over here. We're trying to sweep out some of this nasty filth that's in here. We got beetles all in here. Got bugs in here. It's all right, we'll get all that out. All right, I'm gonna open this. You might have to hold this. Need what? The, the panel? No. Nah, this is actually good. This is like a knee pad out here. <laughs> Use that as a knee pad? It's a knee pad. All right, man. All right, what? Well, huh? Right. No, while the tank is filling up, I'm gonna go in here and um, take out some of this sludge from the the nursery setup. Go in here real quick, knock two things out at once so we can keep the day moving. So I'm gonna come in here and take out this sludge, some sludge build up here in the um, endurance bead filter. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and then um, keep it moving. Hopefully there's no leaks in this other tank. I don't think there's gonna be any. I, I feel fairly confident that there's not gonna be any leaks in that second tank. There's no leaks in the first tank, but first try, I think we got it right. That is taken care of. Quick release of the sludge. We don't want that remaining in the system that starts to uh, diminish the water quality in the system. So remove that out. Try to get it out once a day, depending on how you have your settings uh, set up. Um, but here, try to get it at least once a day out of the system and then have that uh, bead filter fresh um, with uh, the least amount of waste that it, ha it can have in there or that it should have in there. So come back over here. Let's go over here and check. This tank should be just about done. Yep, it is done. I hear it over here. I hear it. All right, so let's check it out. Yep. Oh, the water falling all out. All right, we don't have any leaks in this tank. No leaks. So this is a good thing. Super pumped, man. We go exiting out. All that debris, algae, and all types of other things that were 
lingering at the bottom of the tank are all going bye-bye. Rhino. How you a rhino and a butterfly at the same time? Yes, look at those blades, man. You guys don't have this in California or what? Heck no, man. That's like Japanese samurai sword in the back. <laughs> He look like a dinosaur in the front. You can actually eat these, but they're big enough to eat. You would eat this? Cherry. You would eat this? Hell no. Uh, foreign country people would. They'd probably roast it up and eat it as like an appetizer. Uh, fried okay. skin. <laughs> like, probably like fried chips. Fried bugs. Chip. <laughs> fried bugs. Chips. Oh, okay. That's hot. You gotta be roasted though. You gotta roast it on the grill. Oh, okay. This dude over here look like a, a Cheerio in the back. Yeah, he's all jacked up, man. Just land in here and just die. Yep, they keep land in here and they can't get out. Can't climb up the walls. The surface. Why do you think they climb in here in the first place? They're probably just attracted to try to get some water. Yeah. Yeah, probably want to get some water and, you know, see what, what it's about. It's like, a you know. They get trapped. And then they get trapped in here. Yeah, that's the worst way to die. They die slowly. Yeah, it pretty much is like a slow death because there's nothing they can do about it, man. If you don't catch them, they, they really cannot climb up these walls. So they're pretty much, yeah, they pretty much get trapped in here and that's it. Like this one right here, he's struggling. Let me see. Get this guy out. Let's see if we can save him. Okay. He got lucky. Yeah, he got lucky. So that's one that was alive. And we can save him. Everyone else has bit the dust. Oh, he's he's a save him. Right there. Is he moving? He's hanging in there. Yeah, he's Is moving. He? He's hanging in there. There you go. Oh, he's in oh, there. oh, so you can't make it up the wall. Alright, let's save him. Get out of here. This thing's this thing's pretty neat. It brings in all the uh, solid in there. Yeah, you see it? Clean. Clean. <laughs> How this thing works. Clean a system that cleans on its own. Okay, now that we have both of the tanks installed, the water's filled back up and it keeps falling out. You cutting it off, Carlos? We walk back to the breeder hop, man. <laughs> the thing about the fish. All right, we cut this off now. So now we have both of the tanks finished. Got our water levels uh, up to par. It's about time for us to get this system started again, and hopefully, um, we still have. We should pretty. We should have. We will have a lot of uh, bacteria remaining, but the nitrifying bacteria will not be as much um, since there hasn't been any ammonia passing through here for like the past two or three days. So, but they're still they're still in the system though. They haven't completely died. We're gonna go ahead and plug this up. Plug our pump back in. Get this system operating and on the road again. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. I don't know the rest of the song, but that's it. Come on. Come on. Bead filter's filling up. We have the throat washing chamber. <laughs> That's, they're gonna be like, huh? That is the throat. Yeah, the throat washing chamber. 